Good morning. So, I think at the end of my last session, I was, oh, I was struggling with build errors in my CI. Um, so, I think I fixed up Arch. And Ubuntu, but I haven't actually run those tests yet properly. Um, and I think I was struggling with this because that's that doesn't make sense when I think about it. So, yeah, so we're gonna have to come back to this. This doesn't make sense because what I'm trying to do there is an imperative setup. And it's not going to find it unless I set set LD library path and stuff like that. So yeah, okay. So I'm going to revert that change. Um, are these okay? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is then run these. I haven't got anything else I'll stand in my way. Let's see what happens. So in theory, I have a change where I'll fix Arch Linux and open to CI builds. Okay. And we'll see if that actually does. And then and then we'll have a play with The Nexus one, because that's going to be fun. I might have to. Well, I guess there's different ways of doing it. I could actually create a little build file. Or maybe. Maybe just a shell, like a next shell. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, let's see what the builds are doing. Arch Nix Ubuntu. Okay, let's see. Give me a refresh. I'm expecting it to be pass, fail, pass within a couple of minutes. It doesn't take too long. Let's look at the arch one, see if we can follow it. It's doing the go stuff at the moment. And the test. Oh, ha. That's interesting.
still passed. I guess this one will do the same problem. Yep. It's funny that the test doesn't result in a failed build. I guess it did build. Hmm, might have to fix that up so that it does fail. Anyway, that's well, not the one we want to worry about at the moment. It's the next one, I think. So, problem here is not having an axe library available to the environment when it's building. So, let's get into the build environment. Have a play. Copy the right one, I think. Was that just hanging over from? Line five, that is the right one. Oh, I am in it. <laughs> okay. That's confusing. Right, so. What have we got? Let's bump up this a little bit. So we have go. <clears throat> Getting the snippet pixel should all be there. So maybe what we can do is if I do so if I do which go now, it finds it. But if I do Nix shell here, but don't run anything, would it let me? No. I need to actually have a shell derivation. I was playing with one earlier, but let's have a look. I'm going to maybe, no, I haven't got Diane Veneer by, no. Okay, let's do wiki let's do okay Just do Yeah, actually I might as well just do that. What I'm thinking of doing is having a very basic shell next shell that I can jump into.
what section is this? Okay, I think all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do See, yeah, I'm on two minds about this. If I do, if I add a Nick shell to the pack to the um, repository, that's great for me because I'm I will use Nick's on my laptop and stuff, and possibly eventually on on my desktop here. I guess it's not going to affect anyone else. But it also doesn't give me... clean build. thing. I wonder if I could just do a next build. That might work. Then I'd be building the package as I go along. Mm. I mean, so I mean, I'm not in just two minds, I'm in many minds. Okay. Let's maybe just play with Nick's shell for the moment. See what we get on a, just a ad hoc. CI. Um, so I want <laughs> I want something very similar to that actually, but not. Let's copy that. And where am I here? Hello. 
let's um But I'm not uh, going to add anything, will I? Nope. Do I have Zai? Nope. Oh, uh, okay. Not going to be able to play with it much in here, then, am I? Let's do. Gonna be painful doing it on the command line. I know. Next shell minus P. Yep. There we go. All right. So Vim shell .nix. Okay. Um. All right. So we'll take this as the basis. So what we want is something like. We want some build inputs. Um, interestingly, we do need SQLite. It's okay. Do you need that? But We also need a whole load of other stuff. So we need I wonder if that even works actually. That's not even a valid shell, is it? I 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a look at. I did. Um, where did I last do a shell? I did one for whales. Um, didn't work, but, well, got me closer. Let's do this. We'll just check out the syntax here, what I have. Okay, so it starts with the same, then I'm making a derivation. Ah, uh, yeah, native build inputs. Yeah, I need that. That's the whole thing I do need. I don't need them at the moment. But I will need these two. Now I could I could maybe swap that out for something else, but let's see. So I'm thinking I need right, I'm gonna kind of break it actually. Let's just break it. Let's see what happens. In the minimum here, so I probably shouldn't even have that in, but I'll leave those in for the moment and we'll see what happens. So I should be able to do Next shell pure. Okay. And it shouldn't have go. Cool. Okay. So and I have hardly anything actually, so if I do make it should break. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't know how to do anything. Cool. Okay, so we'll come out of that. And we'll add go. What else is in my GCC new mate. Do I need to do that? Don't they come? They probably come as default. Well, we'll see. Let's go back into it. Mm. Why did it not? Interesting. Let's try that. Oh, <laughs> which? Oh. 
Which is the problem now? I'm, I'm not even reading it properly. Okay. So here go is okay. Yeah. If I go pure, go still there. Vim's not, that's good. Okay, if I do Vim shell, if I take out go here. Goes not found. Good. Okay. So. Let's add it again. I want it as a native. I don't want it to be in the final thing. Right. So that's good. So what happens if I do a make here? Okay, and then make test should go a little bit pear-shaped. Okay, so that's kind of passing then. Bar that one thing. XVFP. I'm not sure it's a virtual frame buffer. Is that even a thing? that I can do with Nix. Let's have a quick look. No maintainers. So what is it then? What does it do? That might work. Type that right. XVFB run. Eek, it's not anywhere.
Mm -hmm. Kind of staying up to date. Should we give it a go? Oh, we'll give it a go. Uh, so where am I? Let's come out of there. So I want. Where do I want this? I want it. We'll give it on a native, but I'm not sure that's right. So what we need to do, I presume, is something like that. So how? I don't know. I haven't got any docs for it, have I? Uh, let's see. XVFB1. Oh. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, in theory, XVFB run make. And then if I do make test, is more likely what I need to do actually. Excellent. That's really handy. Do verbose. Well, that's smart. Okay, like that. We'll keep that one. So now I've got a shell dot next, which is useful for that now. I want to try a couple of things. I want to break it. So I get it down to the bare minimum. I need. So if I take out Escalite.
still says it's building OK. If I do make tidy. All right, OK. That means something I've got to change in the environment then. I need to go for unstable at the moment. Because this is an old, this is a stable version of Nexos that we're running here on the CI. Um, and it's got 116, which was available at the time. So I need to update that. Uh, so we'll change that. And yeah, do that. And then when we come back, we'll have that fixed, hopefully. So, so I should be able to do make the make and then XB FB one make test. Verbose. We'll pass. Cool. Okay. Um, and if I go. Well, I don't know whether it's actually a real, if it's a good build or not, but at least the tests are passing and it's a basis for doing this stuff. So, um, Here's a test. Let's take out all the build inputs and see if that breaks it, just to make sure. Because the native build inputs could potentially be all we need. No. Good. Okay. So we do definitely need this, which is good to verify. What I want to check now is whether I need package config just yet. Looks okay. Nope. XV FB run make test do verbose. And that seems to pass. Okay. Well we'll see. I mean the problem is that it did run When this environment came up, it did do 
a build and got all the modules down and stuff so that might be where the problem might be in the next run but we'll see okay so in theory don't need package config yet all we need is this so we will take this and let's stick it in here then And we'll see how that goes. So in here, in theory, I could cheat. Let's right. So we know these things have to come from some sort of environment, but let's do this. And then next V F B on this. Now I assume I need to do no, so it's diamond for now, isn't it? So I should do dive allow snippet pixie maybe do this just to make sure right let's try that then it'll cd into it do its thing and hopefully auto pick up the shell if I set that up. But then I would end up using it on all the other builds as well and in my own environment. That's something for the future. I think what I'll do is 
let's try this. Can we just do next shell? And then I presume I have to do the same here. We'll see. Okay. Don't really mean to get rid of that. There we go. Right. Let's give it a go. See what happens. Date Nexus CI build. Okay. Let's see. And I might as well come out of here now. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it's in the checkout. It's not in the build. Okay. So here... Do that. Because I'm like, basically I'm doing, I'm doing diarrhea without diarrhea. Okay. So we are run next shell in Nexus build. Okay, see if that makes a difference. You have to go in a minute.
At least it's doing all the uh, it's pulling in all the environment, all the packages. Get script. You see, see, always takes a while. It's a beast. Come on. Up we go. Yep. Right, okay. So we do need to add. That's interesting that it didn't fail before. But I guess. Hmm. Not sure why it would do that. Okay. Right, one one more little go then. So in theory I should be able to Well, if I specify GCC and I specify make, at least then we're making sure. Right, um, well that's going to take another couple of minutes, isn't it? How long did it take last time? Two minutes? No? Took two minutes, okay, I can wait that long. And then I've got to go. Probably should have done. Let's just popped into the environment and tested that change. Hey, hi. Uh, 
that is unexpected. Why is it doing that all of a sudden? So, very bumpy out this time. So, is there make? No, good. Don't expect it to be there. So, I should be able to do CD. Right, so there's no go either. So I should be able to do CD snippet pixie. Actually, that quick there. Make sure everything's there. Everything's there. Nix shell pure. Okay. Don't need to do any pull in. Now I should be able to, I should have go, and I should have make. What? So why? Why did it not fail on, why did it fail on the run? Did that work? It looks like it. Yeah. And then I come out of the shell. No go. No make. If I go back into the shell. Go again, we have make, but I'm not going to try it. And then I should have xv fb make test base. So that's working fine. So why not on the run? And I should be able to do, I guess, and make tidy here, and it shouldn't complain anymore either. It's found changes though, which is interesting. Maybe I should fix them up. Anyway, right, I've got to go. So, a bit of a mystery as to why it failed. Mm. Ah. Hmm. 
maybe it's some random error. Just run it again. But we'll see whether that works or not, and then we'll have to do some fix ups later. So, gotta go though. Um, so, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, you take care. Bye bye.